Hey, what is up, guys? Shadow Steel here, and welcome back to Retro Play. We're continuing to expand our network here. So, we just recently completed the steel mill line to the factory over here. But that's not the only line we're going to finish here today. We're going to build a, a narrow gauge line as well to help supplement the steel mill's potential growth. By the way, I'm using the colored signals to help distinguish each line from each other. So this will be designated as a center gauge line by the signal placement and how the signals are placed. There we go. So that's that. <coughs> what I'm gonna do now is start work on the narrow gauge one right away. Unfortunately, I can't have these really right next to each other. Mainly because in OpenTTD, the two different gauges cause clashes when you're trying to connect up like this. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to carefully place these in various places. Alright. Looks like we need to actually move the train back over. a lot of money in our pocket. Load this up. Hmm. Best way to get over them? Probably right over here by the river. Ah, crap. Good, I can build a bridge like that. A little worried there. Alright, so... Let's try... There we go. <coughs> we'll try in there. 39? Really? Huh. I guess I started this in 36. So, I say that way too much in these plays, the playthroughs, especially with these games, Open T2D and Train Fever, because I've got nothing better to say. Um, but, looks like we're almost done here. And then, the next one is Station B. That's unfortunate. <laughs> because of the gauge, I can't actually connect these two up properly. So they're going to be separate. I lost a bit of money this time around. 
<clears throat> Slim throat. So, by right now, we can actually start building our next set of trains to really produce, help produce the uh, goods that we need to actually build some of these cities up that we're starting to, or at least the one city that I have right now. Uh, the only problem with like that kind of thing is that we'll need to transfer the goods from the train over to trucks. That's not a good idea because the truck can't hold too many goods, depending on like what kind of truck you you're using. So looks like everything's good to go. To build the signals. Can't tell if there's signals over there already. Everything's connected now. Start building our trains. So, oh, looks like he's trying to get on in on the action with the steel mill as well. Oh no, he's a. Oh, okay. I see what he was doing. Now that it's producing steel, we shouldn't have a problem. Probably should build a challenger, but it's way too expensive right now. <clears throat> Maybe a Berkshire? Uh, no, Mountain. That's one of my favorites. Uh, one should be good for no uh, two. Double head them. Here we go, large hopper. Keep on uh, how many tiles it takes up. Okay. Boost. Yeah, that should be good. At least I think. Hold on. Yeah, that pops out. Alright. Oops! That was not supposed to be like that. Fuck! I totally forgot this is supposed to be a, a goods train, not a steel train, not a. <laughs> Alright, I need some flying colors. And then the boost at the end. There we go. That's better. Set the steel. I totally forgot that that was our steel train. Okay. Unloaded. Alright. So we don't have... We need to be very cautious of what we do. At least with that one. So we don't have a lot of money, but we'll need to build our next train over here. Twenty thousand for that locomotive, and eighteen thousand for that. So I'll build two of these. And build flat cars for steel. Here. And go here. 
Sometimes it's a good thing to have competitors because they will keep some of the industries that you're feeding in business. And that's what I want. I want each... I, I want my competitor to keep this DLML running so I can keep, keep it running. And vice versa with the factory too. If you can send some goods to a certain town, that'd be very good. I can keep that seal. That factory going. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh boy. <clears throat> hmm. How much money do we have right now? Put my phone! capable of carrying it, right? Yeah. The other reason you haven't gotten any steel is because just, these guys haven't unloaded nearby. My dog is sitting in my room. This one will probably come out first because of the constant flood of. Oh, Jesus! Oh my god! <laughs> wow. All those trucks are just clicking down one after another. Yeah, you're open on. Profit of twenty one thousand. start shipping farm goods over there on a regular basis. Where to 
Hold on. I guess over here. Some crossings. As fast as I would expect it to be, but oh well. Wow. to keep our um our route relatively loaded. Relatively fluid. Let's keep moving. Let's check my time here, 20 minutes. Not bad. It's not much I can do right now.
my issue, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. much as the, the other one, but most likely was due because of the distance. It looks like this old town is starting to expand way out of its original boundaries. So it looks like we may... Oh, there's a city right here too. Hmm. What do you say guys, next episode we probably can expand over there. Have a new line. I can probably start now with buses. Let's try that right now. Let's start right now. So, first things first, we need to start with a bus. Truck. And then the outline area gets bus depot. There we go. We got our various buses ready to go. There we go. Alright. So we've started all our bus traffic. Um, what I probably should do is either build this station out of there, uh, or maybe even a. It might be cheaper actually to build a port. would transfer the passengers to this area here. And over time, we would salt. So, 
four tiles is good enough. Actually, how many tiles is the actual station here? One, two, three, four, five. Because I need to worry about if the town does expand further out to actually build the line. Uh, actually, there we go. That actually catches passengers. Now we don't really need to worry too much about ships transferring and unloading and stuff like that. I'm still worth an idea. There we go. I'm trying to make a decent looking line. Ship. <laughs> Let's see. All the hundred passengers. Eh, why not? This helps. This kind of helps us too. As um, eventually when we out the line, we could actually see a boost in passenger traffic. So, what I'm going to do now is just like building the line here. God damn. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. The hell? Oh, I'll save true to the other one. Ow. Okay, there we go. So, we do have a passenger line. A commuter line, if you will. Ferry. I was going to do a bus line all the way out there too. We don't have a very good coach, as it's called in the industry. Uh, ba -ba -ba. What are we doing? Ah. Let's see. We probably can end the episode with our first inaugural train uh, from here. So, let me get my commuter train. Okay, it should be the Series 40. Oh. So 
do will go... Uh-oh. I just realized something here, guys. The platforms here are not big enough to hold both trains. gonna have to do here is actually expand the line even further by um another platform. Signals, which are everything in place. And there you have it. <laughs> Alright, what a place to end it, guys. Um, you know what? Do we ever. We didn't build it. I'll put it there. Alright, so. Before we even end the close to end the episode, I'm going to build a road to There we go. Now we have a interconnecting road system there. Hmm. All right. Alright, so like and comment down below, subscribe if you want more, and I will see you guys in the next episode.